What is up guys, I'm Kyle at Fortune Off-Road and today we're building some adjustable bump stops for the Samurai. So I've talked about this briefly in some other videos, but one of the problems I have with the Samurai since the build is I haven't had any bump stops on it, front or rear. Now really that hasn't stopped me from wheeling at all because the suspension isn't really that flexible. Whenever one tire has a lot of pressure on it, especially when I'm going downhill and it's all on the front axle, or I'm going uphill and the weight's all on the rear axle, those tires still have a tendency to get up into the fender or into the body, and that's what I'm trying to eliminate here. Another thing that the bump stops are gonna do for me that I don't already have is really just put that back pressure on it. When the tire's gonna go up and flex into the vehicle, now there's gonna be pressure pushing back, and I think that's gonna help me get a little bit more off-road ability out of the Samurai. Now, when you're looking at putting bump stops on your vehicle, you can go really cheap or you can go really expensive. The ones I was looking at that are the little cylinder hydraulic ones, those ones are super awesome. They are not cheap though and a little bit out of my uh, Samurai budget build. So what I decided to do is go with the big poly ones. The ones I chose, I think they're about four inches by two and a half inches. They're pretty big, and the reason why I like these ones is because there's so much material there. If you ever come down really hard on your bump stop, it's not just gonna turn into a solid piece. It's gonna have a lot of give. So I'm gonna get grinding and drilling some metal, and we'll give it a shot. So check it out, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking putting the bump stops right here in between the two U-bolts that this will be perfect so it can line up with the frame and uh, be basically an extended bump stop. This is what the U-bolt plates already look like. You can see it's got like this rectangular shape. And then I'm going to drill out the four holes. So they're a little bit bigger than the U-bolt. That way we have some room to move around. And then in the new plate, I need that center bolt for the bump stop to be a little bit smaller so it can be tighter on there. And then I'll just secure the back with a lock nut. These are my old bump stops from the rear axle of the Samurai when it was spring under. You can see I've got this line right here. I think I'm just gonna cut right there. And then that flat edge will allow me to run it sideways right here. So I've got all the plates drilled. These ones are pretty easy. They're just flat plate and you can see it's pretty close to the holes, but I think it's gonna work. And I cut the bolt off the nut there. So hopefully it will take up the least amount of room possible. And believe it or not, this time I somehow got the correct number of washers and nuts. This is really uh, something new I'm trying. You know, first time, get it right. So here's everything assembled. We've got them painted up with the Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black, of course. And uh, I think they're pretty much ready to go on. They're just gonna go on like that and uh, we'll see how they fit. Here's what the bump stops look like for the front. They're pretty big. These are four and a half inches tall. I realized after I'd already bought these that they're actually gonna be too tall for the rear ones because I do have a little pad there for where the bump stop was originally at. So I ordered these ones. These ones are three inches tall. So it gives me another inch and a half of up travel. Hopefully, these are gonna be short enough to allow me to get some decent up travel. You can see it's just sitting right on the bolts that hold the U-bolt plate on. So the cool thing about this setup is if we ever need to have less articulation, meaning the axle is gonna go up a little bit less, for whatever reason, we have a bigger tire or maybe a wider tire, we can just put another nut under here, set the desired height, and then tighten down this one on top. So we have all this thread right here to work with, or we could cut this off if we wanted to, but I'm glad I left it long for this. There's no actual bump stop pad on the top. So when this flexes up, it's actually just gonna hit the frame and that's fine. These are four and a half inches tall. The ones in the rear, I ended up going with only the three because there was a bump stop pad back there already, but 
The good news is if this isn't enough up travel, we can put it in a different one because most of them have that same thread on the bottom. So that's it guys. This ended up being a really simple process. Kind of tedious to get those U-bolt nuts on because it is such a long piece of thread. But once they got to the bottom, they're on there pretty tight. And a little bit of them is actually touching the bump stop, which I'm not worried about because there shouldn't be a ton of pressure on those. But next is to go take this thing out wheeling, get some flex on it and see how these are doing. So the ones in the rear are a little bit shorter. Hopefully that's gonna allow me enough flex in the rear. And then the ones in the front, I doubt they're gonna limit anything. But if they do limit me, I can always get rid of the ones I have and buy a shorter version. So this was a super simple idea. I think it's gonna work. And this is something that can be done on pretty much any truck with leaf spring, especially if they're already sprung over or you plan on going with a spring over. It also helps out if you have those bump stop pads already in place like I do in the rear of the Samurai. Otherwise, you can always use the frame like I did, and then the easy part is just extending your pad. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to go down there and give me a like. That way I know that you guys want to see more videos like this one. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.